Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? On the Blockchain Podcast, right back at you. NFT London edition, that is. Hello, Queen Elizabeth Center. Got my guy Dexter over here, man, from Moolah Cake. What up, brothers? Bro, bro. You dig, you good, dig. Good, you good. done know, you done know, man. So we're here, man, creating the vibes. Got the vibes, you know what I mean? And spreading the culture, you know what I'm saying? So um, what's going on? How, how you loving this? Um, first of all, well, you a speaker, man. So salute first and foremost, you know what I mean? Like, you, speak, it. speak again, speak again, speak again. Speak speak again. again. <laughs> but, bro, so um, man, what's going on? What, what topic are you speaking on, actually, man? I'm speaking on real life utility cases um, for NFTs. So what, okay. what utilities does NFTs provide in real life? Right, right. And, yeah. and uh, around branding. And I really feel passionate about that situation. True, true. Because, you know, especially as black people, yeah, man. we don't see the value in things that we can't touch. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> we like tangible. Yeah, right, tangible. So, tangible. you know, yeah. when all this art, digital, crypto, everything's invisible. That's it, so yeah. So we nearly sometimes think that it's value, valueless. Yeah, right, right, right. But no value if you can't see it or touch it. you can't see it or touch it, right, you know what I mean? Right. So, I'm here to not only let our people know that that's not the case, but to let them know that NFTs have real life utility. Facts. So, you know, which help and benefit communities, Fair. especially our underprivileged communities. Yes. They're yes. The people that didn't know about ownership, the people that didn't know about blockchain and how to get involved with financial literacy, financial freedom. Come on, man. Now we're talking, guys. This is what we're doing, man. We're talking, man. Financial literacy in the communities, man. This is what we're about, man. This is what we're doing it for, man. And so that's beautiful, bro. I like how you're touching them topics, you know. And listen, man, first and foremost, on the Blockchain Podcast, man, our mission is to give back. Hello. Which is the utility. Hello. You know what I'm saying? So listen, man, we from less fortunate communities where we understand the value of the give back, man. This is what we're here, this is what we're here doing, you know what I mean? This is why we're doing it, you know what I mean? For you, the people, give you, whether it's the access, the knowledge, whatever it may be, you know what I mean? Helping hand, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, That's bro. it, man. Shouts out Damien John Fuby for the people, for us, by us. It's Come on, man. Thing. Damien, what up, big bro? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I used to be up up there studio, uh, in, a, in an office, FUBU office up yeah, there, man, there in, in Times Square, man, like on the 50th floor up there, man, it, it was always an inspiration, it was always a motivation, we go. like, you know what I mean, going up to that FUBU office, man, yeah, like, let right you there. know, man, sky's the limit, you know what I mean, yes. and, man, you could, you could be up on that 50th floor too, you know what I'm saying, facts, bro, like, you know what I mean, so I, I love the bros for that, man, um, yeah, man, so, um, what got you into just being like, yo, man, whatever I'm doing over here, I got transition it over here into this NFT crypto space, man. Like, what, okay. what, when was that decision, when you had to make that decision? Well, it's been, for me, it's just been just over a year now. Okay, yeah. So, I would say I was fortunate enough to have a mentor. Right, who, come on. And I wouldn't even say a mentor okay. in person, because I've had a few of them and the mm-hmm. business coaches, but yeah. to have a mentor that doesn't even know that he's mentoring me, okay. but be so beneficial to me in Gary V. I've been following Gary Vaynerchuk for the last seven years. Right, shout out Gary V, man. Yeah, shouts out Gary V, shouts out my V friends. V friend, V friend, V friend. V friends in the back over there. Shout out, baby. Shout out, baby. Shout out, baby. So when I was able to um, follow Gary Vee throughout this journey, right. he helped me a lot with my business branding, right. my business leverage, right. um, Facebook, Instagram adverts, mm. starting a podcast, like starting that. TikTok, I like that. and I like obviously that, he bust me on the biggest thing, which was to get involved in NFTs. Right. So I was really fortunate enough to have um, to get access to purchasing two Series 1s. Oh, shit! So, Come on, man, that's yeah. big, bro. Like, you're saying that like that's a small thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, oh, I was able to purchase two Series 1s, and one of the Series 1s actually gives me a FaceTime with Gary Vee. Sheesh! So that is really, really valuable for me. And actually holding the NFT has actually brought me a lot more value right. than if I was to have sold the NFT. Not saying right. that yeah. it wasn't worth anything because I bought it for 5,000 and someone actually offered me 72,000. Right, right. Yeah, so that's, that's more than a, that's, that's not a flip. That's, that's a fucking, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? That's some summer soup that's shit. That's like, <laughs> it's my bed. Right. But, you know, to have the, 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 the stomach Right. And the understanding not to cash it, right, right, and to right, still yeah. be able to gain value from it, right. days upon days and months upon months, is what you know nah. really changed my whole life. So after purchasing an NFT with V friends, 
I wanted to learn more about NFTs, more right. about blockchain, more about crypto. Because that was the first time I've bought crypto. Oh, that was the first time ever, like... Ever. Oh, just picture shit. this. He said, you need to buy a V-Friend. I'm like, okay, what is a V-Friend? <laughs> it's an NFT. Okay, what is an NFT? You need to have a Metamask. Okay, what is a Metamask? Okay, you need to have crypto. What is crypto? Right, right. So, like, I learned everything. It's a whole bunch time. of what the fuck is what this? The fuck like, is this? Yeah. And I learned all of it through doing it. Right. So, as in, the time I wanted to buy, yeah. that's when I learned how to do it. Shit, so, I learned man. how to open a Metamask. I learned how to buy Ethereum. Then I purchased the, the V-Friend. Then right. I purchased another V-Friend. Right. And then I started studying. So you made you said something right here, bro. Because a lot of time people be like, Yo, bro, I don't know what to do. I don't know. See, y'all let y'all let your na- your lack of knowledge yeah. stop you from taking that first step forward, man. Mm-hmm. In this space, yo, nobody knows it all. Nobody knows everything. So you just gotta get your feet wet and start going. You gotta move forward, move forward in the right direction, and continue to put one foot in front of the other, and you are gonna get yourself there. And like, like my guy, like, cause that's legendary shit. My bro didn't know nothing about NFT, right? And he got knowledge and advice from Gary motherfucking V. Okay, on what is an NFT? And yo, bro, you better go buy my NFT. It's gonna be worth something soon. Like, you know? and then you said something else too, bro, because. This is a question I get asked all the time. How do I know when to sell? How do I know when to buy? Listen, guys, listen, man. This is not no short game. This, this is for the long haul. This is not. You know what I mean? It's not an in and out thing. Yeah, yes, man. you can buy and sell NFT. Right. But I mean, yeah, of course you, you can. Yeah. Yeah. If you start understanding the value, just like you can buy and sell stocks and shares, you can buy and sell crypto. Fact. When you understand the value in the long term, right. in, right. in the investment, it's, it's right. the, the long term games are actually. Because that's another well. thing in the community too, bro. It's like, yeah. you know, we want to. We want to. We want to hurry, come up. Hurry, 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 it's not even it. just we want to get rich quick. Right. We've started that same feeling from hurry, come up. Hurry, 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 hurry. You yeah. want to be the yeah. man in your end. Yeah. Wow. And them people, and them premature actions always lead to you doubling back, circling the fuck back, tripling bro. back, tripling back, yeah. bro. You did. So, so I believe. Is it worth it? And right? I tell you the truth, you said something really positive there, where you said you have to get your feet feet wet. This is something I teach in colleges and universities. Right. No matter how much study you need to do, no matter how much someone tells you stuff, mm-hmm. let me explain something to you now. If I taught you how to swim via my mouth, and then you read how to swim. And then you watched how to swim. When you jump in that water, believe me now, everything goes out the window. Right. It is a whole different ball game when you touch that water. And then you really learn it. Then you really learn it. <laughs> so when we're talking about don't stand on the sidelines, umming and ahhing, right. because you're not sure and you don't know. Right. When you touch something, when you get involved in something, you start knowing, you start growing, and then you start learning, and then you start getting the answer. Exactly. But yeah. just sitting back hoping right. to get the answer, yeah. that ain't working. Bro. Yeah, because you know everybody's like, I want the answer before I start. I want the answer before I start. I want, I want like, to know yeah, that I'm gonna yeah, make it. Come on, I, I tell motherfuckers all the time, it's like this. We all start off in the same, 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 same plan for, right? Yeah. And when we go to school, right? Do we go to class and the fucking teacher tell us the answer and <laughs> no. everything that's gonna happen? No. no, you got to fucking do the work. You got to yeah. put the work in and you got to learn. Yeah. Right? And that's the thing. It's like, it's called a learning curve because listen, man. <laughs> so, t- curve. <laughs> it'll take your ass on the curve. You know what I'm but listen, like, are you there for it? Like, and that's, that's what counts. You know what I'm saying? Like, Almost cause you're here for the long haul. Then hey man, you gonna take them turns and them curves and, and you gonna make you gonna make lemons out of lemonade out of lemons. You know what I'm saying? I believe you, bro. Yeah, bro. And my guy know what you talking about, man. South Bank University out here teaching the kids. You know what I mean? And, and helping to educate and spread that word, man. That is it. And that even saying that I'm based in South Bank University, mm. that's through knowledge. So exactly. I don't have a university degree. Mm. I just about have college college qualifications. What I do have is ownership. I own a brand that I was able to leverage to get me an office in the university. I love it. So the lesson in that sentence is, there's not only one route to your destination. Never. You can always take side steps, side roads, go round the curve and come back round onto the same take road. Take the back road if you got You know what I mean? There's not only one route to success. If I were to ask people, how do I get an office in the university? The first thing everyone would have said to me is you need a university degree. Facts, facts. I'm living proof you don't. Come oh, on, man, my guy here hustling, man. <laughs> Offices in a university and then go to the university. Hello. <laughs> <laughs>
and we start our own oh, pussy. You did? Like, come on, man. My guy is on walking NFT too, man. That's yeah. what we do. You know what I'm saying? We are the culture, we're for the culture, man, and we pushing the culture, man. You know what I mean? Mm, that's right. Like, making sure the culture is represented properly, you know what I mean? And um, come on, that's the Boston and Boston and Queens that we are, man. You that's dig? That's you right mean, there. I love what you're doing, man. I love that's what you're right doing. There. I appreciate you, man. Yeah, I appreciate man. you, brother. You know, we're here in NFT London right now. Facts, facts. You know, it obviously started off in New York. But to see the NFT space, you know, not trickle, but actually flood over into the, into the UK right. is a blessing in disguise. Because as I said, I was learning from someone like Gary Vee for seven years. Right, if right, I had right. a Gary Vee in the UK, Sheesh. I could have learned this a long time ago. Saying something. Hello. So it's the same thing. We've yeah. been waiting for NFTs to come over here, right. but really I've known about NFTs for a little while now. Right, right, right. But you know, each to their own and be, be learning at different times. So yeah, I'm glad you so said that too. You know, because I, I, you know, I got some good people out here. I got some family out here too. And they, they like ever since we started this podcast, man, they've been hitting us up. Like, yo, we love what y'all doing. Love what y'all. I'm like, yo, get on board, get on board. Like, you know, y'all got. They like, yo, no. They just like, always kept telling us, like, no, we just watching and see what y'all doing, and then we gonna hop on board. That's the like, same as I'm right. waiting for the answer. Right, 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 right. You know I want to see you on the fire. Right, 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 right. Get involved yeah. right now. Like, don't wait. Don't be. Help don't miss the curve. Don't like, miss the curve. Yeah, don't miss you too scared for the curve. You gonna figure out you gonna miss the, the curve. curve. <laughs> <laughs> So I hear you, man. Oh, man, no, that's blessed, man. But you know, man, utilities, 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 man. My guy over here, he got two charities, you know what I mean? Two nonprofits, man, making sure that the people is get, is well taken care of, you know what I'm saying? Uh, un, un, undeserved, like, you know what I mean? The less fortunate, man. Right, you, you know what I mean? And this is what we about, man. You charity know? is close to my heart. Fast, fast, fast. Because charity starts at home. Of course. Sheesh. Nice, and I've nice. always been the less fortunate. Right. I've always been in the family situation where we didn't know, we didn't have. Facts. You know what I mean? Facts. So yeah. when I said I started charities, it wasn't charities to set all the charities, charity to create change and opportunity. Right. As such as one of my charities is a food bank because of the the, the, the lack of food within the household. I yeah. found that out. Of, I found that out mm. through doing children's holiday clubs. Right, so right, right, actually right. doing a children's holiday club during the holidays right. and then seeing the child ask for seconds and thirds, I think, right, big man, don't you get food at home? Yeah. And then I had to check it. Check it, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You probably don't, you get, probably food don't get food, right. You get food when you go to school. Right. Not in school, So that's yeah. how I found out about food poverty. Right. Way before Marcus Rashford mentioned food poverty. I'm mm. talking, I registered my charity in 2014. Right. Do you know oh, what I mean? Man. And, then my I charity, and then my other charity is the children's holiday club. Right. Why did I do a children's holiday club. I'm gonna give you a real, real gem right now. Of course, come on, let's go. There's two people, there's the two first devils, and I don't even like to use the word devils, it's because it comes from a book, Napoleon Hill, mm -hmm. Outwitting the Devil. That's why I use the word devil. But the first two devils in a child's life is school and a parent. Mm -hmm. Because these yeah. two places have a child for the longest amount of hours in a day, mm -hmm. and these two places indoctrinate fair or their ways of thinking on a child. Forming yeah. a mentality early. Forming a mentality early, do you know what I mean? So what I realize is, is that I need to open a children's holiday club that, have, that has hold of a child for longer than a school day mm. and for longer than a parent. Sheesh. So I can teach them about ownership, entrepreneurship, teach them about the opportunities and the options that are available that they're not made aware of right. and put them in a situation or a better position to be able to win in the future. So, you know, my charities are really, I get, I, I, I really appreciate everyone's charities is in debt for its four calls and I'm not yeah, right, right, charity, right, right, but I'm yeah. just trying to show you that my charities are not no surface charity. Right, yeah, They're man. really from the core, right, from the core. core. Always understand yeah. where I come from. From love, mm -hmm. man. Love and good intentions and sincerity from the heart. That is you know it. what I mean? And that's when it matters, guys, because listen, man, this is why we do this, you know what I mean? We, we do this for y'all, man. We do this for the give back. We do this to impact you guys, you know what I mean? That's why I flew all the way out here to the UK, man. Because listen, man, I want to rub shoulders and elbows, man, with everybody that's impacting the people out here like we doing in America. That's and this it. is what we do, and we combine this community together. Phew, that's that's the limit, How do you man. think when Daniel Leisure came over here the other day, you know, your boy had to get, had to get involved. Facts, 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 yeah. The boy Wall Street Trapper, you know, shout out to Wall Street yeah, Trapper. Yeah, shout out to Wall Street Trapper. Shout out to Ernie Leisure. Shout, shout, shout out to 19 Keys. 19 yeah, Keys. Man. Shout out to the old people. On, you know man. what? They're helping shift our culture on, for man. the better of our people. Shifting the culture and we're changing the narrative. Don't uproar our leaders. Facts. Who do we want to uproar? Exactly. Yeah, we man. need to bigger each other up. Bro. Exactly, man. That's you it. know what I mean? Because it don't cost to support, man. That I love it. It. That's it free. It don't you know cost to support. Support is a charity, really. Because the <laughs> shit don't cost.
be yeah. paying you. Like, Word. there's no, come on, no dollar value, man. It's going to cost a penny, man. Word. You know what I'm saying? You just can't be a fucking hater. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's all it really is. Like, that's that hate costs. Yeah. The hate costs you energy. The hate costs you time. Yeah. The hate costs you yeah. friends, yeah. family. Yeah. The hate costs you yeah. bread. Word. You know what I mean? The hate costs you relationships and opportunities. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, like, listen, hate costs. Love don't and support don't, man. Remember that, man. Let they check you out to tap in with you, man, and make sure that I show my guys some love and support, too. Please, my people, please follow me. Follow me for as much inspiration, motivation, education as you need. Yeah? If you want it the easy way, you just type in my actual name, Dexter Sims, on Google. It will come up with everything. Type in my company name, Mula Cake, and it will come up with everything. But obviously, you can check me out on my website, DexterSims.com. MulaCateClothing.com, MulaCateKidsClub.com Make sure you go and follow the MulaCate Bakery on Twitter The bakery, that's the last thing before we go oh, that, Mulecake the cake Bakery, bake, right? This, yeah, that cake bake, huh? This is the NFT hoodie right here Hello! This is only one of a kind, the one of one Cake this Bake, baby, Come on. So make sure you don't get left cakeless And you go and follow MulaCate Bakery for all your educational needs on the blockchain, metaverse, crypto, NFT space Shit! You heard him, man. You heard it. Don't get left cakeless, Don't man. Don't get left cakeless. Because yo, anybody not up on this NFT, man, y'all about to get left cakeless, man. You're about man. to get left cakeless. You did, you know what I yeah. mean? While we do the cake baking, you did. While we do the cake baking. You know what I mean? And I want to shout out to all the kids, man, of the Children's Holiday Club, man. I salute yeah. you guys, man. Listen, man, y'all are inspiration to us, too. Okay, yeah, man? Y'all. y'all stay motivated. Y'all stay doing y'all thing. Positivity. Going in the right direction. Stay focused, man. The sky's the limit, man. Yo, man, please, man. my people. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hello. You already know. Come on, man. Blockchain Diaries, man. Let's go, my let's baby. Let's go, let's go. I'm G, <laughs> this Dexter, man. Come on, on the Blockchain Podcast. Brr, 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 brr. NFT <laughs> London, Queen's NFT London, Queen's 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 London,